everyone, I'm glad you are here. I hope you are ready. Today we're going to keep working on Unit 9 Fun All Year. Today we're going to learn new vocabulary about the seasons of the year. We have four seasons and we're already going to connect the vo that vocabulary with the months of the year. So I hope you remember and you've been practicing your months of the year at home. We have four seasons, like I said. We have winter. Repeat and say winter. And then we have spring. Spring. Autumn or autumn. Autumn. And summer. Summer. Okay, so those are what uh, the four seasons of the year. Um, as we know, here in Merida, winter is not like it's in the picture because it doesn't, we, we can see snow here in Merida. But uh, as we know, winter is cold and we always take our sweaters and pants, our scarves and everything. And spring is like it should be right now, but it's really rainy. And we also have autumn or autumn and it's rainy and it's when it's finishing everything and it's summer like very hot so very sunny and everything okay so pay attention to the pictures I'm going to show you this it's like a calendar we can see the seasons of the year as we said uh, we have winter, spring, autumn, or autumn, and summer. Winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Okay, I think this is the correct order where it should be. Because when autumn is finishing, we start by winter, spring, summer. And then autumn, winter, spring, summer, autumn, winter, spring, summer. Again and again and again. It happens all the years so we start by winter spring summer and autumn okay winter it's in december and january and february so okay as i was saying we have a uh, winter in december january and february three months okay and each season it takes three months okay spring is in march april and may summer is in june july and august and autumn it's in september october and november okay remember winter december january february you get the picture this is a tree spring is in march april and may we can see the animals flowers plants everywhere in summer we can see june july and august autumn september october and november maybe uh, sometimes you think spring is um, similar as summer but they are a little bit different because summer is really and really and really hot it's hotter than spring and here in merida we can stand that hot but we still we're still alive so that's it remember we have winter spring autumn and summer winter spring autumn and summer so we want to take our students book on page 117 we have two exercises but first we're going to do this on page um exercise 20 and it says listen and write the season then say you have a box and in the box you have the four seasons of the year fall spring winter and summer you have four pictures and you are going to write on the blank in the blanks um, the names of each season as you hear as you listen pay attention so you can do it faster students book page 117 activity 20 
Listen and write the season. Then say. One. In the winter, they skate on ice. Two. In the spring, he rides his bike. Three. Three. In the summer, she likes to swim. Four. In the fall, they rake leaves. Okay, that's it. If you need to listen, you can go back to the part of the video where it started. Now you have think big. What can you only do in the winter? Okay, maybe here in our country or in the city we live, uh, there's not an only activity that we can do in winter. For example, ice skate. We can do that. We cannot do that because here we don't have ice or snow or that kind of things. But you can think like an activity that you can do only in winter. For example, um, wear sweaters and scarves. We mostly wear them in winter. Then the second question says, what can you only do in summer? This is much easier. And why? You have to give the reason why you can only do those kind of activities in winter or summer. So now you have a project here in the same page. Um, it says, make a special days calendar. Okay. We are going to do it differently because I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not going to ask you um, to make a calendar with 12 pages, like the 12 months of the year that we have, because it's a lot. So I'm going to ask you to choose your favorite month. For example, I think my favorite months are March because it's my birthday and December because I love Christmas and everything about it. So I'm going to choose only one. I can choose between March and December. I can choose mm, maybe December. So I'm going to do a calendar as we have in the examples with using one month, okay? So you're going to use a whole page um, and going to write Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. If you are going to choose uh, the months from June to December, you are going to do it about 2020, about this year, sobre este año. But if you choose, you chose uh, the months from uh, January to April to May, you're going to do it about 2020, uh, 2021, okay? Si eliges entre, entre enero y mayo, lo vas a hacer sobre el 2021, porque pues ya pasamos esos meses, entonces no tiene caso que lo haga. So, and that's it. You're going to write the days, the numbers of the day, the dates, and, and you're going to write special days. So, if you're choosing this month as your favorite month of the year, you have, you need to have a reason. For example, your birthday, because it's Children's Day, because it's Valentine's Day. So, you are going to do, uh, to write it in the exact day. For example, here we have February the 14th, it's Valentine's Day. Uh, in March, February 27th, it's St. Patrick's Day. It's 17. I'm sorry. So you're going to write, for example, December, uh, Christmas Eve, and everything, my birthday, my mom's birthday, my sister's birthday. Uh, for example, if you are planning a trip, you can do it trip to um, Veracruz or something like that. Okay. So take pictures of this activity and your calendar you can decorate you can draw you can cut and paste everything use your imagination so you can do an excellent calendar okay you can do it in in other sheets for example hojas de colores and everything so you can decorate and make it look 
special and beautiful so that will be everything for today and uh, don't forget to send pictures of the calendar and the workbook of the student book i'll see you the next time the next week have a nice weekend enjoy with your family at home please don't forget to stay at home be safe and everything i miss you so much bye